that the world, the dunya, wa ma fiha, and whatever is inside this dunya. So the whole world and whatever it contains, all of what it contains. Imagine everything in the world. The dunya is a ni'mah. And all of the things that are within it. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said that the dunya wa ma fiha and everything that's within this dunya is nothing. It is waste. It is of no use. It is useless except the dhikr of Allah, the action of the dhikr of Allah. This is the beneficial thing. And this is a great statement of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And this is not some insignificant thing. And only the people of understanding understand this properly. Who have understanding and wisdom. And we, we consider the things of the world so brilliant and massive and fantastic. And we give them great, great levels and rank. And we emphasize on them. But Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa has made us understand clearly, consciously, that this is not the case. Don't run after the glitter and glow of dunya. The reason is what? That the dhikr of Allah, what is the taste of it? What is the importance of it? We don't know this, that this na'mah we have attained, the dhikr of Allah, Allah Ta'ala has given to us, it's not due to our efforts, due to our power, due to our energy, due to our money spent, or due to our conscious, due to our knowledge. No, there are many people of knowledge. Where do we get the tawfiq to do dhikr of Allah? Due to the fadl blessings of Allah. Otherwise, show me how you can just buy this. Allah Ta'ala, when He sends His fadl on someone, only that person can do the dhikr of Allah, man or woman. So we should be very grateful, very grateful to Allah, that Allah, you are so great, you are so merciful and gracious and beneficial if you're beneficent, you've given me the ability to do dhikr, I've sat down in the dhikr in your gathering and I'm able to recite your name. This is not a little thing. Allah's name, Allah. What a great hadith. Allah, your beautiful name that you kept yourself. That you kept yourself. And you've made it famous. And you've spread that name and you, and you revealed it in the Qur'an. And you have revealed it to that person who you prefer and like. And you have protected it in your treasures. There's a natural trait and habit within every human being. What is that natural trait? It's about progression. We have that natural habit, desire to progress. For example, today, if one of us, somebody says that um, I promise something, then I want another level. I want to progress. I want another status and I want another title. I want another level in my career. I'm ambitious. I want this. I want this title. And today, I have this title and level. I want another level. Because we want to progress in the world. We want to progress and advance and get higher in rankings. But no means can give us the advancement because there are no means for this. Yes, Wahid, there's one thing in the hadith, I'm telling you the meaning of the hadith. There's one factor that always will take us to the higher levels upon higher levels upon higher levels, and that is the dhikr of Allah. This is the greatest ni'mah. Dhikr of Allah gives so much progression and advancement, and, and uh, you can say, even if a person is doing dhikr lying down on his mattress, he's getting reward. If he's rich, he's getting progress. If he's poor, he's getting progress. If he's got ghurbat, if he's poor, and he's doing dhikr, every second he is being advanced. He's getting promotion. Allah Ta'ala said, subhanallah, that if a person's heart is enlightened with the dhikr of Allah, and he's lying down sleeping, then he is greater than those people who are ghafil, who are negligent, and they wake up, but in their hearts there's no dhikr of Allah. This is the hadith. He's greater than Zakir who lies down doing dhikr and he's sleeping, but his heart is alive. He's alive, but the other person's awake and he's not remembering Allah. So this is a great power, dhikr of Allah. It gives progression. Please don't take this name Just like that child, if you give a child toys, then the child will gather the toys in the night and take them to his bed because he loves the toys. And he has a waspas, a whispering in there. Oh, I don't want to lose the toys. Someone's going to steal them. And the child, he says to the child, don't take my toys. Is he going to steal my toys, my cycle? And he locks the cycle in the house. You will see the child. The child. Look at the mindset. Mashallah, good message that the child is giving to us. That he's got whole fear that this name I've got, I don't want it to be taken away from me. So we should have this fear. That Allah, I am ungrateful. Allah, don't take the dhikr away from me. Allah, don't take your dhikr away from me. I don't want to lose this. Subhanallah, we should have so much khawf. We should bow with humility, with sincerity. Because if this name of dhikr goes, then we are an empty box. Do what we want. We can jump around and do what we want. But what have we been told? And call ourselves what we want. But that person drowns. Every deed of his drowns as well. It's nothing. It doesn't have any nothing within it. It, does, it has no solidity within it. So dhikr is the nur. It is the light which makes a person glow and shine. So alhamdulillah, we are grateful to Allah in this nice, great night. Allah Ta'ala has given us the tawfiq to do dhikr.